Welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. I remember when I first started building Legos with my buddy Calvin, I think it was more like I wanted to build them, so I was living vicariously through like my two year old as we're putting together the Lego pieces. And I remember working with him, um, working with him that actually I did most of the building. And he was there observing, watching, learning about the processes and how I go about doing it. Well, more recently, he's been getting more and more Legos. His birthday was just this last weekend so we caught a couple of new sets. And so Saturday, he was working on it, building it all by himself. He had the pieces, he had the directions. He now has um, the patience and practice to do good work. But all of a sudden, he was frustrated. All of a sudden, he stopped. All of a sudden, he's like, I can't get it. I did it wrong. The piece doesn't look like the picture. The pieces aren't fitting together just right. So I went over to see what he was doing. And sure enough, it was wrong. He had grabbed the wrong pieces, looking not at the, the, the instructions for that, the order, but just looking at the last picture, hoping that he was gonna put it together right. I worked with him, took it all the pieces apart, went back to where he had messed up and went back to the basics of laying out piece by piece and only following the step by step instructions. I then began to think about my own journey with Jesus and how building the Legos with my son was much like that and how when I first started off in my faith, it was me basically just trying to look to other people in Jesus and following their examples and messing it all up along the way. I would want to speed up and have an end result like other people, but my journey and that God had me on was different. There's a scripture in Philippians that says this, keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. I love the word practice because there's a, there's a perceived um, uh, human error and maybe failure rate that we're gonna have in this walk of faith. Knowing that, let's keep looking to the maker of the directions, the Bible, and the instructions, the Bible, and God's spirit working within us and putting to practice the things that Jesus taught us. Oh, when we mess up, let us give it back to God, let us repent, and let Jesus take over and continue to teach us as he empowers us and leads us to help us love God and love others. May God's grace and peace be with you. I'll see you next week.